One of the important bed mobility activities that we have to train our patients for is the uh, rolling. So in rolling, the patient uh, is in supine position and they will try to roll into prone. And you could do it from different positions, also from side laying or from prone to move into supine. We have different techniques to help the patient. And the primary focus, as you might guess, is that in rolling, this is a movement of the trunk. So all the activities we've done previously, like mass elongation, mass flexion, and even the scapular pattern, they aim to promote rolling. Another technique that we could use to facilitate rolling is to um, aid with the uh, stent of the upper or lower extremities, depending on the case of our patient. And here, the goal is to strengthen the upper extremity in order to help the patient with the movement by gaining momentum when they do the movement. So, for the upper extremity, for example, we will do G2 extension. The patient will start in flexion, abduction, external rotation, elbow extension, and the rest of the fingers are extended, but we won't focus now on the fingers. And we will ask the patient to do the movement into extension, abduction, internal rotation, like this, and assist with the uh, trunk movement. So, let's move back to uh, the point. Um, we could explain this technique to the patient and do it several times, and we could apply a variety of PNF techniques, like for example, rhythmic initiation, we could do a combination of isotonics. I will apply it now just simply against uh, resistance. So, you will do the same movement, and I will be resisting you, and I will use modified hand placement, so focusing on the arm and the forearm, and I want you to uh, take this. Do the movement, now move your uh, upper limb towards your opposite hip like this, and as you reach the final destination here, we will move into rolling, okay? And the goal is to, as I said, again, strength in the upper extremity to end the movement. So, uh, move your hand towards the opposite hip, move, 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 and I resist, keep going, keep going, move, 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 move. And now, to assess, we could switch the hand placement to move it to the scapula and assess with the rolling. Okay, this was using the upper extremity. Now we could do the same technique with the lower extremity. With the lower extremity pattern, so we will use the D1 flexion. Your lower leg will start in extension, abduction, internal rotation, and um, same, I will use modified hand placement, so I will resist uh, on the uh, distal thigh and distal leg, and um, the movement will be flexion, abduction, internal rotation like this, uh, sorry, external rotation, and um, as we reach the final goal, we will move the trunk as well, and I will modify my hand placement. So let's start with the starting position. Okay, and now I want you to uh, raise your leg and move it towards the opposite side, okay, like just a movement, and I will uh, give you resistance. Okay, so let's start from here, okay, and Raise your leg and move it to the opposite side. Okay, go, 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 more, more, okay. Uh, let's go against resistance. So keep going, keep going. And now as we reach here, I will assess the pelvis and we will move into uh, rolling to side or front. 